All right, today we're going to look at how to find MAD. And what is MAD? MAD is mean absolute deviation. And if you're looking at the, uh, there's your MAD right there. Mean being an average, absolute being always positive. And rather, it's not even really positive, it's just the distance from zero. We don't care if it's in the negative direction or the positive direction, it's just what is the distance from the, uh, the point that we're looking at. And then deviation is to change or to get off course. So we're going to see what is the average distance of a data set from the average. So if we, uh, if we look in the bottom left of your screen here, we have six roller coasters and their speeds. And the first thing we need to do in finding mean is to find, or in the mean absolute deviation, is to find the actual average. Because that's what we're calculating everything from. So uh, I'm going to take these six data points here, 55, 45, 60, 85, 50, and 65, and I'm going to sum them, add them up, and they add up to 360. Now, in order to find the average, I would have to divide those by the six data points to find out what is the average for each of those six. And I will find that my mean ends up being 60. All right, so 60 miles per hour is the average speed of my six roller coasters here. So now the next part is to find how much does each point deviate from the average. How much is it changed from the average? So roller coaster one uh, is five away from the average of 60. 45 is 15 away. 60 is zero away. And that point counts just because it happens to be the same as the average. It still counts. 85 is 25 away. 50 is 10 away. And 65 is five away. And I'll add all those up and the total distance of all of those points from the average uh, is also 60. Now I'm going to divide those because I want to average those. Divide that average distance or that distance away from the average. 60 divided by 6 equals 10. So what I can say now is that my mean absolute deviation is 10. Okay, so again, just a real quick review. MAD means what is the average distance from the average? How much does each point deviate on average from the group's average? In this case, our group's average was 60. And how much does each of these six data points change? How much does it get off course from the average? Well, that average distance was 10. And if you check out uh, how to find MAD part two, We'll show you what does this look like on this blank number line. How do we show that? And what is it even really telling us anyways?